Guys, welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to 15 places the Earth acts in mysterious ways. Not gonna lie, I clicked this video because of the thumbnail, and I mean, yeah, I mean, we're just gonna see what this has to show, really. I don't know what other things there will be, but this, I think in the thumbnail, it was the edge of rain. And I've always thought to myself, like, obviously there's always an edge of rain, but like, is it visible? Like, one, there's like one point where the, the rain's here, and then it's just the other side. So there's one point here where the raining, here it's not raining and there's like a split. I guess there isn't because it's always it's constantly moving, I guess. So I don't know if there would be, but we're gonna see this video. I mean, I don't know if we'll actually show that or not, but we're just gonna see other crazy scenarios like that where the earth acts in mysterious ways, like the, like the title says. But um, yeah, hopefully you're going to enjoy. Shout out to my Instagram, my Twitter, links in the description for those who wanna follow. And yeah, man, let's just jump into it. The world works in mysterious ways, in some places more than others, these are 40,000 years old. Wow! The oldest figurative art in the world. Yet yeah, these strange mystical locations have baffled mm. scientists for centuries, home to natural phenomena so rare that they defy all explanation. Everywhere is not as it seems in these chilling places, and you may risk your life by even visiting. No need for actual roses when you can go out to the desert and find a desert rose. From unexplainable vortexes that can suck up airplanes and ships to a bubbling volcano that glows blue in the night. These are the 15 places the Earth acts in mysterious ways. The edge of rain. This mysterious go. phenomenon. See, I have a feeling. The edge of the edge of rain is never actually like this. Like you can't actually ever see it like this. I've got no proof of it, but I just have a feeling that's not. But if there was ever a scenario where it is, has ever been like this, I would love to see a video of it or something because that would blow my Nine mind. Nine is so rare that many people debate whether it's really existing at all. The edge of rain is a spectacular sight that only a select few will ever get to witness, and is described as resembling a wall of water or a curtain of rain. Yeah, this strange occurrence is the moment when one cloud that hasn't clumped up with other clouds to form a weather front passes over, bringing with it an individual rainfall. These individual clouds are usually small, and due to the fact that they are fast moving, it's been said that you can see them coming over the horizon, moving towards you. <laughs> the edge of the rain leaves one side of you wet, and the other side dry with such a localized fall of rain that you could even jump in and out of the rain. Sounds pretty amazing, right? So how do they work? Well, it's all to do with the dramatic increase in the collision rate of microscopic water droplets due to the turbulence intensity in the atmosphere. Okay, so you might need a science degree to understand how the edge of rain really works, but it's still a cool sight nonetheless. Have you guys ever seen this exciting event? Let us know in the comments section below. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the eye of the Sahara. This giant mysterious formation can barely be seen with the naked eye at a ground level, but has been fascinating astronaut. This is like it's from like Jupiter, the massive, the massive storm in Jupiter. For decades. <laughs> yep, the eye of the Sahara, otherwise known as the Rakat. This does not look like Earth at all, man. Like I said Jupiter, but this actually looks like Mars from, I mean, from pictures that I've seen and stuff. It's located in the Sahara Desert, stretching for at least 25 miles. Jeez. However, it was only discovered when we started exploring space. While searching for impact craters on the Earth's surface, astronauts discovered this massive set of rings scorched into the desert. But this was no impact crater. For one, the lack of melted rock completely ruled out any possibility of an asteroid or comet hitting the area. So what is this odd geological formation? Well, there's many theories, including one that describes the eye as the remains of the lost city of Atlantis. Other, more plausible ideas state that the eye is the eroded layer of the Earth's crust, formed over 100 million years ago when the supercontinent Pangaea began to tear apart, separating Africa and South America forever. So what do you guys think? Is the eye an entrance to an ancient civilization? Definitely not. There's no way someone lived this deep in the desert and survive back in however long ago this or was. living I mean, maybe, I mean I don't know maybe people were able to survive in these sort of environments but I don't know how because there's not like there wouldn't have been any sort of like systems to get water and stuff but again maybe there's a water maybe there's rivers nearby but it's the Saharan desert so I'd assume there isn't being proof of Pangaea mm -hmm. 
the Bermuda Triangle. Well, it wouldn't okay. be a list of mysterious places on Earth if we didn't include the Bermuda Triangle, now would it? So we're there's specific places and there's specific sort of weather events. You've got the, the, the rain and you've just got different sort of places. This mystical now. area of the Atlantic Ocean is bordered by Miami, Bermuda and Puerto Rico and have been the home of many unexplainable occurrences. Missing no, ships, planes and even people have caused conspiracy theorists to speculate that there may be paranormal goings on in this Bermuda Triangle. Yep, this 500,000 square patch of ocean is thought to be a hotbed of alien activity, or perhaps even a time traveling portal that sucks unsuspecting vessels into a wormhole, never to be seen again. Now, these theories may sound a bit crazy, but let's just well, say that the disappearances scary. that have taken place in the Bermuda Triangle are very suspicious. Christopher Columbus first complained about strange compass readings when he passed through the region of his first voyage to America, as well as a great flame of fire crashing into the sea. So it actually came from Christopher Columbus then? The, sort of the whole theory came from Christopher Col Columbus? Is that sort of what he's saying? Then in 1918, the USS Cyclops, a 542-foot Navy ship with a crew of 300 men aboard, disappeared without any distress signals, and the ship and its passengers were never found. Hundreds of boats met their enemies in these deadly waters. Planes have gone missing over the Bermuda Triangle, only for the rescue team sent out to find them to go missing too. Yep. Yeah, I heard about a story to do of that. That was a crazy one. If that's the specific one that I think Lamino went over, that one was a wild The story. mysteries behind the Bermuda Triangle may never be solved, but we sure like to wonder what's really going on here. <laughs> Kawaijin Lake. When we think of volcanoes, we usually think of fiery red hot lava and glowing orange embers, but Kawaijin Lake in Java is a whole different story. That's right, this incredible volcano actually burns a bright blue, and it's, it's so a stunning wild, sight. Man. Home to most of the world's volcanoes, Java itself was formed from volcanic eruptions, so it's only fitting that this totally unique caldera is located on this one-of-a-kind island. That's so why so does this wild. mysterious volcano glow neon blue? Well, it's all down to the sulfuric gases pouring out of a natural steam vent in the volcano. As the sulfur meets the oxygen in the air, they ignite, turning a vibrant shade of blue. You can even take a nighttime trek after midnight in order to catch a glimpse of the volcano at its most breathtaking. It's a once in a lifetime hike, but make sure you don't forget to pack safety goggles and a gas mask. These noxious fumes are so strong that they can impair your vision and make it difficult to breathe. But is the struggle worth it? I say yes. Just look at this awesome natural wonder. Would you take the trek to the blue volcano? <laughs> the giant so cashew cute. tree of Natal. This oh man, I love me some cashews, cashew nuts. So I mean, I'm hoping this is, wait, are cashew nuts, do they grow on a tree? How do nuts grow? How do nuts grow? Or where? I don't know. Where do nuts grow? They grow on trees. I've never seen a nut tree. Peanuts grow underground, such as cashews, pictured below, grow inside a soft casing that hardens. So, like, how is there so many? Like, where do they grow? How, like, you'll just go to the shop and you'll easily get cashews in, like, massive bags. So this is sort of what they'd be like, I guess. But that's obviously... Um, the mon monkey nuts, but like, the more you know, I love my nuts as, <laughs> I love nuts as well, I love cashew nuts specifically, and pistachios, and, is that it? I, I like almonds when it's a mix of stuff, like not on their own. I've always wondered that, I might watch a video when, when these reactions are done just to see how that sort of works. Is the world's largest cashew tree, although you might be forgiven for thinking that you'd stumbled into an entire forest. Yeah, it's hard to believe, but this is in fact just one single tree. We're dead serious. This thousand year old tree has been growing for over a millennia, and it doesn't show any signs of slowing down. What? A sprawling canopy creeps over the paths carved out around the mysterious mythical tree, with numerous trunks that span two whole acres. This popular what? Brazilian tourist attraction even entered the Guinness World Records in 1994 for being the biggest cashew tree on the planet. 
Just imagine the unlimited supply of cashews you could get from this whopping great tree. That is actually, that is crazy. Just one big ass tree. Namibia's fairy circles. In Southwest Africa, the Namib Desert is home to a sprawling expanse of mysterious fairy circles that scientists have been trying to explain for decades. Ranging from 10 feet to 65 feet in diameter, these circles span for hundreds of miles across the desert. Like Local campfires. myth says that these strange barren circles are actually all footprints of ancient gods who walked over the red earth. Others say that they are the home to desert fairies, and this is their domain. However, experts have come up with some much more logical explanations. Where's the fun in that? Still, if you want to know the real reason behind Namibia's fairy circles, the answer is right beneath your feet. No, literally. The bare circles are the result of termites under the soil, clearing away plant life to build their nests. The circles can be explained by vegetation in the area competing for scarce water, growing long roots that extract moisture from the soil. Termites making circles that big? So what? there you have it. No elves or pixies to be found in the African desert, just ants and thirsty plants. Eternal Wait, termites are the ones that like, I found like wood and stuff, aren't they? I no flame that. falls. In Chestnut Ridge County Park in New York State, there's a mystical flame that burns eternally underground a trickling waterfall. It sounds like something from an old this wives' tale, but it's actually totally real. Yeah, you can actually hike to this mystical site to witness the burning flame for yourself. You and while there's out? a perfectly reasonable scientific explanation for the eternal flame falls, experts are still baffled about how the flame has managed to stay alit for so long. Wait, what? Okay, that's kind of crazy. Man. While the blaze is a result of a natural gas pocket, of which there are hundreds of across the globe, usually they're caused by ancient scorching hot rocks. The eternal flame in Chestnut Ridge County Park is made up of relatively new rocks, and they're not particularly very that high is either. Insane. Yeah, you'll just have to use your imagination when it comes to explaining this confusing phenomenon. But hey, who doesn't love a mystery? That's fucking ridiculous. What? The Devil's Bridge. We've never Devil's seen a Bridge. reflection this stunning before. In Saxony, this extraordinary bridge. Bro, look was at the scenery here. That is nuts. I wonder if people can go over that. Designed bridge. to cast a perfect circle into the This is from like Lord of the Rings. Never watched Lord of the Rings, but I know the scenery is just like this sort of this sort of style. The water below. The well crafted arch oh, is surrounded wow, by beautiful sick. flowers all through the spring, making this spot one of the most Instagrammable places in the entire yeah, that is Germany. Beautiful, man. Amazing and more. Like it's actually I personally think it's cooler than the photos. Like it is. But the Devil's Bridge has been around since long before social media and smartphones. Yeah, its sinister nickname Whoa. is all down to the age-old belief that bridges, such as this one, were built in collaboration with the devil himself. How could anything man-made be so miraculous? Legend has it that bridges yeah, like man. this one were all erected all over. So, do you reckon people used to cross this bridge then? Like, how is that even possible? Look how thin it is. There's no way people used to cross this bridge. Europe with a helping hand from Beelzebub, who showed the architects how to create the perfect bridge. Wow. Can't someone just be really good at their job? Nowadays, it seems as though the bridge may actually be a little dangerous as it's forbidden to cross over. Well, with a view like that, who actually wants to stop on top of it? <laughs> These transitions. The Marfa lights. In the Texas desert, these glowing orbs have been spooking the residents of Marfa for more than 130 So why is it with orbs here? Why do some people think orbs are like people who have passed away? and they're sort of coming back with as these floating orbs i don't understand that i mean please explain it to me because i don't actually understand it but i know that's the thing like there'll be like a video and it'll show like an orb flying about and some people will be like that was my great gran 50 years ago she passed away and this orb is her like that's <laughs> i don't know that i'm actually trying to understand i'm not trying to take the <laughs> make a joke out of it but i mean i just don't really understand how orbs are seen in five years thing. These creepy it's lights that are. hover above the horizon have been known to dance, flicker, duplicate, and race across the Mitchell Flat landscape in a whole rainbow of different colors. But it's impossible to predict when the Marfa lights will next strike. These basketball-sized orbs only appear a handful of nights every year, making them even harder to explain. Yep, scientists have been stumped, but conspiracy theorists have linked the lights to UFOs and even the ghosts of Spanish conquistadors whose souls are doomed to wander the desert. Spooky stuff. 
However, scientific circles seem to think that these mysterious flying orbs could be down to an optical illusion known as Fata Morgana. This mirage sometimes occurs huh? in the ocean, making ships look as though they're floating. That does not happen. This is not a real picture or a video. Uh, this, this, this is an edit, man. Someone's just gone on like Photoshop and just put it like five meters in the air, or fifty meters in the air, or whatever. Not fifty. Fifteen meters in the air. Mirage so. sometimes occurs <laughs> in the ocean, making ships look as though they're floating above the water. It all happens when a layer what? of warm air rests above layers of cooler air. The temperature conditions in the Texas desert just so happen to be perfect for recreating a Fata Morgana, which, if you ask Bro, us, is just as jaw-dropping as any paranormal activity. But for now, the truth is out there, so it's just waiting to be discovered. The Sea of Stars You may have seen this spectacular natural phenomenon in the Hollywood blockbuster Life of Pi, when the main character floats in his life raft over a twinkling... I watched this film when I was a kid, man. My, my mum really wanted to watch it. I can't remember how it was fully, so I'm gonna have to watch it again. Doesn't it like go on a. Is there like a crocodile in it or something? Oh, no, there's a tiger or a lion. I think it's a tiger. Ocean full of glowing stars. Yep, it's one of the Earth's most amazing light displays. And it's not just movie magic, this uh -huh. actually happens in real life. Although it all know. depends on the climate and the growth of the bioluminescent plankton that live in the Maldives. That's right, if you're lucky enough, you might get to see the sea of stars what? for yourself. The nickname given to the glowing blue waves that lap right against the beach, it's all thanks to a particular type of plankton, which can generate its own light source in the movement of the waves. Nobody nuts. knows exactly when they might show up, but Vadhu Island is the most famous location for catching a glimpse of the sea of stars. We'd love to see this shimmering spectacle in real life, wouldn't you? Hmm. That'd be cool to see, I'm not gonna lie. Blood Falls. This creepy location looks like something straight out of a horror movie. These blood red falls flow from the. It doesn't look as bloody when you're closer to it. It's more like when you're further Taylor away. Taylor Glacier in Antarctica, and I've been stumping scientists ever since they were first discovered. You can only imagine the strange theories what that the must hell? have gone through the people's heads when they first met this mysterious waterfall. It was thought that bright red algae blooms were causing this bloody phenomenon, Awful. but that was soon proved not to be the case. So, was there something more sinister lurking beneath the ice? Well, not exactly. There is no giant icy monster or arctic vampire to be found here. In fact, under the surface of the Taylor Glacier, there exists a unique brine that contains an extraordinary high level of iron. Trapped forever underneath the ice, this brine never gets any oxygen, except when it escapes through tiny cracks in the ice causing the waterfall effect outside. When the iron-rich water comes into contact with oxygen, it immediately rusts, causing an eerie stream of bloody liquid. Okay, so the scientists so have it all weird. figured out, but we can't help but find this mysterious place still a little creepy. So that's all just rust. Slope Point Trees. In the middle of nowhere, on the most southern point of New Zealand's South Island, these That's twisted cool. macrocarpa trees can be found on the remote slope point. Extreme and severe weather caused these weird yet wonderful trees to bend at a steep angle, withstanding battering arctic winds. They've done a pretty good job of surviving so far. The famous macrocarpa trees have such a strange and unique appearance that they've become quite the focal point for photographers and tourists. But be warned, the winds are so powerful at slope point that they can knock you right off your feet. We guess that's where roots come in handy. The these hell? gnarled trees aren't going anywhere. Farmers originally planted these hardy trees to shelter their sheep from the bitter weather. And there's even a rundown shack crafted with the branches of the crooked trees. Okay, <laughs> this place just officially went from being unusual to downright creepy. Does anyone live in this weather-worn cabin with only the wind for company? We're not sure we want to find out. <laughs> <laughs> The Giant's Causeway. Okay, so giants may not exist, but this mysterious Irish landmark definitely does. Made up of approximately 40,000 basalt rocks, this natural walkway was formed some 50 million years ago when molten lava crystallized in the sea, creating a series of mind-blowing columns that face out towards the harsh North Atlantic Ocean. Or if you prefer myths and legends to cold hard science, then there's the ancient tale of Giant Finn McCool, who laid down these enormous hexagonal stepping stones to make his way across Scotland and battle his arch nemesis. <laughs> For some, this honeycomb pattern of 40,000 basalt columns is a geological wonder. 
What's even more incredible is that you can actually walk in the footsteps of giants and trek across these breathtakingly beautiful stones yourself. The Michigan Triangle. From Michigan Manitoba triangle. in Wisconsin to Ludington in Michigan, United States, this mysterious triangle located over Lake Michigan is creepy enough to rival the infamous Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, multiple one. disappearances and tragedies have taken place in this eerie region, dating all the way back to 1891. An old ship named the Thomas Hume was sailing over the lake to transport lumber when it mysteriously went missing, never to be seen again. Seven sailors on board disappeared along with the boat, and the wreck has still to this day never been recovered. If that wasn't weird enough, in 1921, the Rosa Bell ship was also reported missing. Although they found the ship overturned, they never found the 11 people who were on board at the time. To disappear off the face of the earth on a lake? Now that's just strange. And it's not just boats that face an unexplained fate. In 1950, Northwest Airline Flight 2501, carrying 58 people, crashed into Lake Michigan. The plane was never found, and at the time, it was the deadliest commercial airliner accident in American history. Okay, so how can you lose an entire airplane in a lake? Something very mysterious must be going on in that Michigan Triangle. Can someone please explain this to me? Because I don't think the Michigan Triangle was actually a thing, but why is this area just so prone to these things happening? Is it like the other waters just a lot more sort of um, like do people expect them to just sort of be like I don't know what's the word not very aggressive like not not to be aggressive and they just think it's gonna be like some sort of calm waters and then it's like a surprise when it's not but then that doesn't explain the plane obviously crashing that might just be a coincidence but yeah I mean maybe it's just unlucky I mean I wouldn't put it down to being a triangle and just in that area it's just cursed or whatever but I would I would wonder maybe maybe there's sort of some sort of physics behind it which actually sort of makes it make sense a bit more again maybe it's to do with the war being more aggressive or something like that maybe it's all down to the 40 foot ancient stone circle found at the bottom of the lake back in 2007 with a similar arrangement to the famous stonehenge experts predicted it may date back to 10,000 years ago so is this some kind of time portal what the or is hell? lake michigan just especially dangerous thanks to its extreme weather conditions we'll let you oh. decide well there we go that's probably it. Oh. India's Magnetic Hill. According to local legend, what? there's an unusual hill in Ladakh, <laughs> India, where nothing works as it should. Yep, this gravity-defying location causes all kinds of strange phenomena, turning all logic and reason upside down. This place defies the laws of <laughs> physics. At the famous Magnetic what? Hill, there's a freakishly powerful magnetic pull that causes cars to roll uphill, and there are even tales of aircraft that flew too low and lost control in this ominous mystery spot. But don't take our word for it, you can actually visit Ladakh's magnetic hill for yourself. This strange slope sits at an altitude of 14,000 feet and has become a popular tourist attraction for people who want to experience something out of this world. In a place where up equals down and down equals up, we're not sure That's what so to believe. That's so wild. What the oh, shit? There you have it. There's still so much. This man spilt water and it's going up the hill. Up. We're not sure this world. In a huh? place where up equals down and <laughs> down equals up, we're not sure what to believe. Flipping well, out. there you have it. There's still so much we don't know about the world around us. Maybe we'll never solve all of its mysteries, but which one of these mysterious spots was your favorite? Would you take a trip out to any one of these unex? God damn man. I've actually seen that Edge of Rain before. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Edge of Rain is rare and takes a science degree to understand. This guy's acting as if when it rained, it rained everywhere in the world. Florida's, Florida is Edge of Rain home during the rain season. We see it every day. Yeah, I bet to be honest. I guess it's like really like aggressive rain as well. So there's loads of rain, well, not aggressive rain, like just lots of rain. And it's like, so it's a lot more visible to see like the actual sort of cutoff point for where it is raining and from where it isn't raining. When you live in a country of tropical weather, you see the edge of rain quite often. We used, we used to literally run after those precipitating clouds. The edge of rain is a rare event. Florida in this chat. Let me just search this. Edge of rain. Cause he didn't really show any videos. Oh, it's literally. Oh 
I want to see really clear edge of rain. In recent years, a new huh? Maybe not. <laughs> oh, this is the one they showed, isn't it? <laughs> this one is quite cool, though. I don't want it's quite cool, but I guess yeah. It's so rare; it's barely even on YouTube. But um, <laughs> what the fish rain? Making artificial rain clouds. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this reaction. Again, more of this on the way. Just just what you want to see in the future. And yeah, until next time, like, subscribe. Peace.